Hello, and welcome to something different. Um, I don't know if you caught that right at the beginning, but the game launched by uh, giving me a quote, uh, which I have no reference point for, so I don't know, you can pause it right at the beginning there and see if it makes any sense to you. Uh, anyway, this is Heaven's Vault, and I think it's too loud. Because even after I've... <laughs> there's almost a 30 decibel pad on the recording right now, and it's still too loud based on the sliders I'm seeing. So let me... Um... Oh, now the music stopped, so I don't know. <laughs> Great. Uh, why is it at 50 hertz? Why would you... This is some weird auto settings. All right. Um, vibration. I didn't expect that to be a thing at all. All right. We're just going to roll this all into the video. Um, uh, okay. I guess we'll come back to this. All right. Heaven's Vault. Um, this is a game that uh, I had no knowledge of, no intention of ever playing because I had no knowledge of it. Um, but one person requested that I play it and another person gifted me a copy. And so uh, we have synthesis and I guess for some reason there are two start game buttons. I'm just noticing this. We are off to a rip-roaring start on this one. <laughs> uh, all right then. Um, well... I don't even really know what kind of game this is. I have a little bit of an idea, but... Oh, we are very small down there. All right, I can just barely see. Stories don't have tidy beginnings. The past is always present. Um... Okay. That's not total nonsense. But there has to be a spark. Something that brings the past light. Ooh, uh, this sprite work is a little, a little rough around the edges. Is this a reaction? Oh, wait, they're folding out. They're or fading out. <laughs> folding out. Fuck, my brain. Uh... We are almost... I mean, it was voiced for a second there. I'm surprised this is not voiced. Is this supposed to be in my head? At the top. Take a moment to rest before... Okay, hold on. Text, don't just disappear like that. I didn't have time to read that. Oh, I have sort of camera control. Uh, some rough looking textures there. Oh, I also have, uh, movement. All right. Ooh, this camera, it, like, it's very... Okay, so here's the problem. I have some camera control on the mouse. This is as far as the path goes. Um, but it also moves the camera automatically when I move the character. And having both is bad, because if I touch the mouse at all, it gets very jerky as it tries to figure out what to do. Um, all right. Yeah, I wish I just didn't have camera control at all. And no control instructions. A bricked up opening. There is something here. Um, so I, I didn't know I had to click there, but I clicked there and that's what it started engaging. Okay, this is too much text. Keep something in. Something written here. Ancient script. This must have been cut in when the mortar was still wet. But I think I can read it. Ooh, these... This, uh... Pretty rough-looking geometry there. Very... Untextured, weird bricks. All right, well, I am only more confused than before, I think. 
University of Yox some weeks earlier. My story begins on Iox. That was where I met the robot. Um. Okay. Sure, I'll just take that at face value. Mistress Alia. This. Mistress Alia Alrasa. This text really needs to stay on screen, screen longer. Come on. I've been asked to escort, especially since it's not always in the same position. What? Why are those fading out? I didn't even... Okay, so I didn't even pick a response, but it still answered like I did. Did she say what she wanted? Oh man, this has some real rough technical spots already. She said she wanted you. So why has she sent you? This camera needs to chill out too. Did you do something wrong? That seems unlikely. My ethical core protects me from serious error. Okay, camera, camera, stop. How are things here on IOX? Holy shit, camera. Chill. Ch I this is like already giving me a headache. I I didn't process any of that text because it's a visual disaster. How else would I get here? I've always wondered how it might be to say, oh my God, why is the, the text moves from here to there? I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see. You should know the professor's urgency was remarkable. Everybody chill, 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 chill. Please, please not so many things. <laughs> Look at her, she looks like a tiger in a cage. A most curious analogy, mistress. You understand I will be required to report it. W why? Why would you be required to report it? Required to? Of course. Professor Mayari is my primary user, mistress. Ne nevertheless, I will try to sugarcoat your opinion. Okay, you can't, okay. Technical problems all over the place here. If you ha do not move the text on the screen, if you can, always place it in the same position. I understand that if you're going for a style, ah, uh, there's no pausing. Can I pause this so I can talk about it? If you put text on the screen, ideally it's always in the same place so that it's easy to refer to and that you're not scanning the screen looking for, uh, well, one, it eliminates like an order error where you read the things out of order. Um, that's a special, that's already a huge problem, even in a static medium like comics, where sometimes you'll see just some comic makers um, just have very bad choice and form when it comes to how they lay out their text. And it can greatly detract from both the legibility of the text itself and also uh, uh, the fluidity of the motion as you read it. The, the way your eyes move is very important. You may not realize it, but the way your eyes move is very important to um, the way that you read and the way that you, the feelings that you get off of what you're reading. And so this already fails in that respect. And then it's got a camera that is just all over the place that's like, kind of hard to look at in the first place because it's just swinging all around and borderline giving me motion sickness. And then the text mo the text moves on the screen because if the camera switches, well, if the camera moves or switches angles, there is a chance because I don't know how they've done this or why they've done this, the text also doesn't remain in the same place on the screen. At least if at, at a minimum, at least if the camera moved, but the text always stayed in the same place on the screen, 
that would only have the problem of the layout being bad. But because the text also moves, it's it's impo- and and it goes incredibly fast, uh, like to the point of. I mean, I'm going to turn down the text speed because I guess that's maybe it. But like, do I show subtitles? Will that help me? This is really bad. And why is the resolution back to what? Why? Why is it? Why is it 50 hertz? This is not a 50 hertz screen. All right, we're we're gonna keep going. Ugh. Now I have full camera control, which is um, interesting. Why is Mayari's room so far from everything? I imagine she enjoys her view of the tree, mistress. Okay, now the tech. Nope. See, text is moving. I can't fucking read that. I'm sure, it is most pleasing to her. Just put the subtitles on the bottom. Just put them on the bottom. There's no reason not to. It doesn't add pleasant dynamics to it. Like, I get that you're going for uh, a cartoony aesthetic, but it's not working. It is greatly detrimental to this whole process. I also don't understand the flow of this back and forth. Why, why does this keep fading in and out? Am I missing opportunities to talk to the robot about certain things or? What is your ethical core anyway? What good is it? It is what stops me from pushing humans off cliffs, mistress. Is that something you want to do? Oh no, it's just, it's just slowing down the speed of the fade in. It was simply an example, mistress. Were it to be convenient for me to do so, my core would prevent me. Okay, um, no. This text fade in and out is also awful. There's a really good reason why subtitles are <laughs> at the bottom. They don't fade in and out. You don't put effects on them unless you're uh, an insane anime translator in the late mid 2000s who really loves making weird colors and fonts and movement for some reason um oof i this is gonna be a struggle to get through and how reliable is your course so then i just asked the other part of the two questions that i had the option of picking is the core of my being, mistress. If if it goes, I go. And then there's just this dead air. Are you going to give me the opportunity to respond again? Or... What? Wait. Aaliyah, get into my office this instant. What? What? Fuck off, dude. Why are you a mean robot? Professor, is that you? Get in here or I'll tell the dockers to slash the ropes on your precious ship. What the fuck is going on? Dude. Why is everybody so aggro? What is going on in this place? Apologies for shouting, mistress. I must replicate tonal patterns when delivering messages. Okay, well now, now I, I have two replies. Why do I have two buttons that both say reply but are to two different things? And then why can I look at the sculpture and, oh God damn it. And now I can't look at the tree or the sculpture because I didn't do anything fast I enough. Was 15 when my Ari rescued oh. me in the slums of Elbereth. Oh my god, and now we have subtitles at the bottom. What is going on with this? Or such kindness. What? Why do I have a my lifetime view? What? 
Okay, this is just... This is also really, really rough storytelling because it's just dumping exposition to borderline exposition on me. Um, I have no investment in this game at this point. I want to make that clear. They have done an extraordinarily bad job of onboarding me to the important elements of the story. I don't know who I am. I don't know where we are. I don't know where we were at the beginning of the game. I don't know why I'm here, who the people are who have brought me here, if robots are normal, um, what my objectives are, what my personal drives are. Uh, I don't know anything. This game has not onboarded me in any way. It's just asking me to suspend my bis disbelief with make, while making no investment, uh, giving me no investment. So what, why, why is that even a thing I can do? What? What? What is what what is this mechanic? This seems like it's a cool idea. I just don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, mm, uh my brain. We'll be back in the next episode for more of this. Um Oh, wow.